so in this video we will be discussing about the dynamic balancing procedure for solving dynamic balancing problems so one of the example is given a single shaft is shown which is rotating at some angular velocity uh, omega and this shaft is containing two rotating planes this planes are named as 1 and 2 which are containing masses m1 and m2 at a radial distance r1 and r2 and this angular positions are measured from this axis for for all uh, rotating planes the reference this is known as reference axis this is known as reference axis for this plane also this is reference axis and this plane also reference axis is coming in this orientation and the angular positions of all rotating masses will be measured with respect to this reference axis for the plane 1 m1 is lying at theta 1 and for plane 2 m2 is lying at theta 2 static balancing in one plane we the masses in the balancing in dynamic balancing will be having masses which are rotating at different planes so here you have to balance it statically as well as dynamically means you have to make the net force for this entire system zero and for the net moment couple also to be made zero so we have discussed in the last video dynamic balancing you will be requiring minimum two planes two balancing planes or balancing mass are to be added in two planes here one of the mass balancing mass mb1 is added in this plane which is named as b1 balancing plane one and the another uh, balancing mass will be added in this plane b2 so here first we will be discussing about the graphical method and then we will be discussing about the um, analytical method in the next problem so here balancing mass will be added in this plane so here you are having one reference axis similar to that you will be having one reference plane so either of this mass or this so this mass mb1 or mb2 planes will be considered as the reference plane so here i am considering this as the reference plane which is actually the b1 so this will be named as rp so this will be considered as the reference plane reference plane the importance in the chal, you will be transferring all other rotating masses including the second balancing masses onto this reference plane so you have to this mass will be creating a centrifugal force of m1 r1 omega square in this direction at theta 1 and this will be producing a force of m2 r2 omega square at theta 2 from the reference axis so in balance dynamic balancing you have to transfer all these forces onto reference plane means you are having the we will be considering first we will be studying how to transfer this m1 r1 omega square onto this reference plane for which the distances between reference plane and first mass is l1 reference plane and second mass is l2 reference plane and the second balancing mass is lb2 first i am considering the part between length l1 so you are having a uh, uh, you are considering part of the shaft which are coming in between this is the reference plane and you are having the another plane which is the first plane p1 where m1 is rotate uh, rotate so you are considering only the part of the shaft that is coming in between so this is the center of this shaft in this plane and this is the center of the shaft in this plane this is plane p1 where m1 is rotating and this is reference plane and here i will be marking the uh, reference axis reference axis is the x axis which is shown and here we are having a rotating mass which is lying at this log orientation which is m1 at a distance of r1 and this is at an angle of theta 1 so which will be producing a force of m1 r1 omega square if shaft is rotating at a omega angular speed so here you will be transferring all the masses onto reference plane means e mass karana ivide m1 r1 omega square undu aa force nu parayunnathu theta 1 angle aanu with respect to the reference axis so this force will be same or force ivide actually ippo reference plane la force onnum illa here i will be considering two equal and opposite force here also you are having the uh, reference axis which is at this 
this is the reference axis this is also the reference axis and here you will be considering two equal and opposite forces which are having the magnitudes m1 r1 omega square and this force is also having magnitude m1 r1 omega square where this m1 r1 omega square is placed at an angle of theta 1 and either end in the middle 180 degree means opposite height will be considered. So actually I am considering an equal and opposite force at the reference plane. Now we have to do this two things. We have to do this two things. Now you can consider a plane which is Now we are having a force m1 r1 omega square in and opposite and so m1 r1 omega square will be forming a couple this m1 r1 omega square and this m1 r1 omega square will be forming a couple a couple on the plane or in the plane like a couple on the the couple will be formed in this plane and what is the magnitude of couple couple is formed by m1 r1 omega square and this distance between these two planes is l1 so a couple of what is the direction this force is acting in this direction and this force is acting in this direction so this will be forming a clockwise couple and a couple form jayana they ipa hatch either e plane on so couple in the orientation will be in this direction any key uh, dynamic balancing in a couple polygon very can polygon very can usually you are having a single vector only vector right in any couple no very usually number couple in a direction noted in the right hand thumb rule on it if you are having a uh, thumb which is pointing in this direction and the fingers are curving in this direction then this curving fingers will be giving you the direction of rotation then thumb will be giving you the axis of rotation so here you are having a plane which is lying in this direction or fingers are curving in this direction then my thumb will be going down onto this plane means your thumb will be in a direction normal to the plane means your thumb will be in this direction so this will be the uh, direction of this thumb will be pointing in the direction of this polygon as the moment so the moment the magnitude is actually moment about this plane will be actually m1 r1 omega square into distance l1 so any king and all the direction e plane line act in the a moment in a in a vector right where a camp at so force if m1 r1 omega square force is in this direction are the word i don't actually don't are another yeah another thing what a martin bo along with this force इतने इंगोटो मार्टी कर जाना ये फोर्स हो उन्ने अलोंग विद दिस ये रंडे पैरों कोड चरने रे कपल हो उन्ने एंड दैट कपल इस एक्चुअली एक्टिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन इफ यू आर लुकिंग दिस कपल कैन आल्सो बी ट्रांसफर्ड हियर कपल देंगे ना ना पोनो दे एंड दिस कपल इस एक्चुअली इन डायरेक्शन परपेंडिकुलर � Direction or yeah, I think a couple polygon can do it in a direction and reading a picture usually He couple Where I can go either a 90 degree rotate the same force in a direction like him for drawing the couple polygon That is the procedure couple actually would a vector right of reckon on the direction is done and magnitude is m1 r1 omega square on the l1 on a for this length but here usually for drawing the couple polygon I will be rotating it through 90 degree so that the couple polygon or couples will be represented in the same direction as that of force for easy construction of the couple so I have a couple m1 r1 omega square reference axis on the couple any given angle so first I am drawing the couple polygon for the graphical method so in graphical method I will be having for polygon will be having a center or origin so first if you are transferring m1 r1 omega square onto this reference plane the couple will be m1 r1 omega square into l1 direction will be along the same force same force are actually 90 degree on but will be transferring or rotating it through 90 degree then 
this is a coupled polygon will be constructed on reference plane and on this reference plane also you will be having a reference axis which is lying in this so couple formed by this mass will be coming in this will be taken in the same direction as that of force then you will be having the polygon or the vector will be having some length which is equal to m1 r1 omega square into l1 will be the length and this will be at an angle of theta 1 in a similar procedure you can transfer the mass which is lying at this uh, plane 2 onto this reference plane then you will be having a force m2 r2 omega square in the same direction and a couple will be formed and the magnitude of couple will be m2 r2 omega square into l2 which is lying in a plane perpendicular polygon transfer finally same direction ithra varthadi couple polygon varikumbo actually couples direction force but if you are transferring through 90 degree then which will be coming in the same direction as that of force so if you are transferring m2 r2 omega square onto the reference plane couple magnitude will be m2 r2 omega square into l2 and direction will be at theta 2 with respect to the reference axis this is the reference axis and we are drawing all these things on the reference plane so net next will be polygon where i came and i will be drawing this reference axis again at this end so this is reference axis and at the end e end in the next couple where i can which is m2 r2 omega square this is m2 r2 omega square into l2 and the angle with respect to this angle will be theta 2 ingana varikkumbo if your couple polygon is closed then your system is under balance dynamic balance anandu parayam since you are having an open side this is to be balanced ee balance yani varikkana ella reference plane aanu baaki planes la mass inde effect aanu edukkunna so this will be this can be closed by only if you are adding mass on this plane. Add the balancing mass and the plane. Add in. But in another plane, balancing mass add in. You can uh, keep the entire system is in balance. So final closing side will be given by this uh, arrow or by this vector. So now this will be actually giving either couple on work in an angle and the balancing plane add in the mass one down over another if that balancing mass is mb2 and if it is placed at a radius radial distance of rb2 and omega square and this balancing mass mb2 is placed at a distance of lb2 from the first balancing mass or our reference plane considered and an angle this will be having a magnitude of mb2 rb2 omega square into lb2 and the orientation of this can be measured in any vector that the x-axis angle reference axis considering and you can measure the angle which is measured with respect to reference axis and this angle will be known as theta b2 and this theta b2 if you are marking if you are knowing the value of r b2 rm angle l b2 is already known then you can find the value of m b2 which is lying at a distance of this theta b2 so you will be marking this uh, theta b2 onto this plane then your balancing mass will be lying at this distance which is r b2 and this balancing mass will be m b2 and this distance will be this angular displacement will be theta b2 so now we are having a you have found the you can find the value of balancing mass mb2 at a radial distance rb2 which is lying at the theta b2 now you have constructed only the couple polygon next you have to construct the force polygon force polygon virtual the net force on this system should be zero you are knowing that two balancing mass are coming for dynamic balancing one balancing mass will be placed at this plane. Our mass is mb1 on the area. mb1 can do Next, you have to construct the force polygon. Other force are m1 r1 omega square at theta 1, m2 r2 omega square at theta 2, 
എം ബി ടു ആർ ബി ടു ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ അറ്റ് തീറ്റ ബി ടു ഈ ഡയറക്ഷനിലാണ് ഈ ഫോഴ്സ് ഇനി ഫോഴ്സ് പോളിഗണാണ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വരയ്ക്കുന്നത് സോ ഐ വിൽ ബി കൺസ്ട്രക്റ്റിംഗ് ദി ഫോഴ്സ് പോളിഗൺ ഹിയർ നേരത്തെ വി ഹവ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫേർഡ് ഓൾ ദിസ് ഫോഴ്സസ് ഓൺ ടു റെഫറൻസ് പ്ലെയിൻ അപ്പോൾ റെഫറൻസ് പ്ലെയിനിലെ ഫോഴ്സ് റെഫറൻസ് പ്ലെയിനിൽ തന്നെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഫോഴ്സ് പോളിഗണും വരയ്ക്കുന്നത് സോ ഇഫ് എ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി റെഫറൻസ് പോളിഗൺ റെഫറൻസ് പ്ലെയിൻ ഫോഴ്സ് പോളിഗൺ വിൽ ബി ഹാവിങ് എ സെൻ്റർ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ഹാവിങ് എ റെഫറൻസ് ആക്സിസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് കമ്മിങ് ഹോറിസോണ്ടൽ ഇനി അറിയാവുന്ന ഫോഴ്സ് എം വൺ ആർ വൺ ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ എം വൺ ആർ വൺ ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ ഈസ് ലൈങ് എറ്റ് This is M1 R1 omega square all that is so I will be marking only M1 R1 and this is at theta 1 next you are having the force M2 R2 which will be a reference axis will be considered this plane also this is reference axis then I will be drawing this force M2 R2 which is ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് വരയ്ക്കുക ദിസ് ഈസ് എം ടു ആർ ടു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ഡ്രോൺ അറ്റ് എൻ ആംഗിൾ ഓഫ് തീറ്റ ടു വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു റെഫറൻസ് ആക്സിസ് എഗെയിൻ കൺസിഡർ കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ദി റെഫറൻസ് ആക്സിസ് അറ്റ് ദിസ് എഡ്ജ് ഓർ അറ്റ് ദിസ് എൻഡ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദിസ് റെഫറൻസ് ആക്സിസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡ്രോ ദി ഫോഴ്സ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഈസ് എം ബി ടു ആർ ബി ടു ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ഓൺലി എം ബി ടു ഇൻറ്റു ആർ ബി ടു സോ ദെൻ യു വിൽ ബി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അറ്റ് ആംഗിൾ ഓഫ് തീറ്റ ബി ടു സോ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് വരയ്ക്കുക ദെൻ ദിസ് ഫോഴ്സ് വിൽ ബി വെക്ടർ വിൽ ബി എം ബി ടു ഇൻറ്റു ആർ ബി ടു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ആംഗിൾ വിൽ ബി തീറ്റ ബി ടു ഇപ്പോൾ പോളിഗൺ ക്ലോസ്ഡ് അല്ല ആൻഡ് ഫൈനൽ യു വിൽ ബി റിക്വയർഡിങ് എ സൈഡ് ടു ക്ലോസ് ദി പോളിഗൺ വിച്ച് വിൽ ബി ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ദി ക്ലോസിങ് സൈഡ് and this closing side will be giving you the vector which is re representing the mass required in the first balancing plane so this will be representing actually mb1 into rb1 so if you are knowing the value of rb1 then you can find the value of mass also and e vector in the direction ku measure ya any end il reference plane varachal the angle can be measured and this angle will be giving you this angle will be giving you the theta b1 so any key this is force polygon this force polygon is the first balancing mass in the mass radial distance angular position radial distance make our brother theorem then you can find angular position from the force polygon on mass from this measuring this vector so i'm going to measure it all first you will be getting the uh, balancing mass first balancing mass this will be the mb1 at a radial distance of rb1 at an angular distance measured from the reference axis and this angle will be theta b1 this will be the complete dynamic balancing and this is the procedure using the graphical method where you are having two rotating masses and for balancing uh, this dynamically you will be requiring two reference planes where two balancing masses mb1 and mb2 are added so in this problem you have to find the value of mb1 mb2 rb1 rb2 theta b1 theta b2 for which first you will be constructing the couple polygon couple polygon will be constructed by transferring all this rotating masses or corresponding forces on to this reference plane reference plane is considered at one of the balancing masses adin anusarichu polygon varichu aa polygon in second balancing mass in the orientation mass kittum കപ്പിൾ പോളിഗൺ വരയ്ക്കുമ്പോൾ ഞാൻ എം വൺ ആർ വൺ ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ എൽ വൺ ആണെന്ന് മാർക്ക് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ബട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ നെഗ്ലക്ട് ദിസ് ഒമേഗ സ്ക്വയർ ദെൻ യു വിൽ ബി ഡ്രോയിങ് എം വൺ ആർ വൺ എൽ വൺ എം ടു ആർ ടു എൽ ടു ആൻഡ് എം എം ബി ടു ആർ ബി ടു എൽ ബി ടു വരച്ചാലും മതി ഒമേഗ നെഗ്ലക്ട് ചെയ്യുക ആൻഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഒപ്റ്റൈനിങ് ദിസ് എം ബി സെക്കൻഡ് ബാലൻസിങ് മാസ് യു ക്യാൻ കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് ദി ഫോഴ്സ് പോളിഗൺ യൂസിങ് ദിസ് പ്രൊസീജിയർ ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ബാലൻസിങ് മാസ് ഓൾസോ റിക്വയർ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദി പ്രൊസീജിയർ ബൈ Uh, graphical method thank you